Have a seat. I love people who do what you do. Theodore Roosevelt said, it's not the critic who counts. It's not the one who points out how the strong man stumbles or how the doer of deeds could have done them better. But the credit belongs to the man who's the man, to the woman who's the woman, who's actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who's felt that way before, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who actually strives to do the deeds, who knows the great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself on a worthy cause, who in the end, at best, knows the triumph of high achievement, and at worst, if he fails, at least he fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who know neither victory nor defeat. Is that you? It is. That's why I'm here. Because you are the man, you are the woman in the arena. And while the rest of the world wakes up and punches a time clock, you go out there and get your f in every single day. Right? Is that you? Let me see him. Who is this? You are the man and the woman in the arena. And I only have a couple minutes because, you know, pitchforks and fires are going to start happening pretty soon if we don't let you get to lunch. The story that brings me here today is um, someone I know very well. Actually, I'll share his man in the arena story. Successful, successful at a young age, always at the top of his profession, in the six figures, year after year after year after year, until he wasn't. He decided he would go into business on his own. How many business owners do we have in the house? Yeah, everyone here, right? We're business owners. And uh, I wasn't really sure how this whole thing worked, but he'd watched enough Rocky movies. Some days he knew what to do, because obviously he had the skills. He'd been doing these things for a long time. If he were, to be honest, there were other days where he was facing down the giant and he got frozen in his inactivity. His greatness was locked up and he got, he got beat up. Who's ever felt like this guy? Holy crap. One month, two months, three months goes by with no income, okay. Four, five, six, oh my God, is this supposed to happen? I'm following my schedule, wait, I think I am. I don't know if I'm doing it right, and pretty soon scurry mode kicks in. We all know what that's like, right? Scurry mode. Seven, eight, 12, 13 months without income, without an influence in his life, and this successful person was down for the count. And the way he would tell it is that it sucked to lose everything. It sucked to move back in with his parents in his mid-30s, and it sucked to look his wife and eight children in the eyes, knowing that he'd failed them. That guy was me. It sucked. 
if we're being honest here, it doesn't matter where you're, Barry, all the way down, the most to the least, all of us struggle with these things sometimes. Knowing where we're at, what we're doing, loving ourselves enough to give ourselves permission to do the things we think we should be doing, being consistent. We get beat up, and when you're alone, you get knocked out. That's what happened to me. Now, the cool thing is, is that coming back from that, it's what happens when you get back up that matters most, right? Coming back from that, I got a coach. And I will have a coach until the day that I die. At the point of where that happened, of course, I shot back up to the top of the company and, you know, all of those things. The income was there, but the cool thing was is I was falling in love with what I did and, more importantly, who I was in the process. And for the last two and a half years, Don and I have been talking through video conference, all the people that I'm, I'm connected with because my family, here they are. Yeah, eight children, Right? This guy hurts my feelings with the, with the abs. This is not even fair. We've been traveling the world three months in a different place with these guys. We're doing things we shouldn't be doing, growing a business in the process. Here's a reality. That's my dream. Uh, I'm probably the only guy that doesn't belong here because um, we're purposely homeless. <laughs> so we sold everything and we've been doing this thing. And so um, obviously we'll be settling and all of that stuff at some point. But I don't have a mortgage or a home. But I have freedom. Anyone can help me out with that if I move into California? Yes? Okay. Here's the deal. Don't go alone. Living the life of my dreams now because I'm connected with people who can look in me and tell me to get off the mat. Because I have someone who can say, there's a, there's a lion inside of you. Let him out of the cage, Donnie. And, and I let him go. And there's someone that will kick me in the butt when I think I gave it my all, when I've really only given 30%. You need that. I need that. Peanut butter is better with jelly. It's just a fact. It's not good for people to be alone you're going to hear some really, really, really cool people here today. Travis, we got Tristan, Barry's got stuff going on. Oh my gosh, Mike Meyer, uh, Mayor, phenomenal people. There's no reason you should be alone. No reason you should be alone. I actually have something that I'm going to give to you. This is a $500 course. And this is just a way for you to get a flavor because I know you guys are lone wolves. That's why you're realtors. If you can get a flavor of what this feels like, tastes like. And you can begin the process of winning through love. If that sounds appealing, just, go, just text right now. Pull out your phones. It's okay. Text 484848. 484848. Just text the word coach. You will get my free... My, $500 class for free. 484848. Just log in and you're good to go. 484848. Text the word coach right now. Before I let you go, because I'm going to let you go, you'll see me again. Listen. The mass of men, this is one of my favorite quotes, actually. You get on stage, you forget the guy who said, who, who did this? Who knows, who, who knows this, who this is? It's a quote, famous Thoreau. Thoreau, Henry David Thoreau. The mass of men and women lead lives of quiet desperation. And they go to the grave with their song still in them. Find someone to help you to let that out. Let's not be what the mass of people are. You're already a different breed. That's why we're here. We'll see you guys soon.